Thank you. Are you uh, nearly finished for the day? That's good. Thanks a lot. Bye. Aha! Headsets back from America. Well, here we are. It's the 11th of February. And the package is here with a repaired headset. I've already had an email from the company to say that the left earpiece had gone completely. Uh, apparently they've fitted a, a new microphone and they're also sending a new adjustable, well new, I didn't know that they had such a thing, but an adjustable headband. And not only have they done an adjustable headband, but they've also sent me not one, but two sets of earpieces. So, well done to Clarity Aloft, and I've got my headset back. Well, hi, welcome to another video. Uh, as you've just seen, I've got the headset back. Came across to the airfield today, having done the stable chores as per normal. Um, and John was pushed out and ready to go. Rob from Old Buckingham had asked whether he would go and have a look at um, a leak that he had in his RV. So he asked me whether I'd like to jump in with him. Uh, I wanted to test the headset and that's what I did. Um, I also set up one of the GoPros with a copying lead, which I'm not sure is going to work, but anyway. Um, and the faintest idea why I should say that this was a copying lead. I bought this for the Jodo some time ago, and then when I got the GoPro Hero 4, well, that's got a different power lead. But basically, um, this plugs into the aircraft uh, headset outlet. Um, my headset goes into there. It has got an extension on there so that if you want to add power to it, you can do. But as I say, I haven't used it very much. Well, I used it once um, and it, I wasn't happy with it. But this is what I tried out in the RV. This is the footage for what it's worth. Hello. Okie dokie. That caught me a bit unawares. Yeah. It's a little bit mistier than I was expecting. Yeah, I'm not entirely surprised, that's what I was a bit worried about. Yeah. Yeah, they all look as if um, it should be a problem. Good or should? That sounded like you said should be. <laughs> <laughs> should it be? Yeah. <laughs> Can you pronounce your vowels? Yeah, there, yeah. yeah. Better smothers? I need to speak proper. Yeah. That sort of waffle won't wash just okay. because you're a dodgy old git. I like the, uh, I like the last of the summer wine better, that's a... Uh... P's and P's are all in the green. Dump that and happy then. Good. And geriatric. Uh, as our uh, wonderful audience, yeah, uh, now only us old geezer airways, yeah. Or as Matthew says, last of the summer, we're in aviation department. I don't know about you, but coming back from Shuttleworth, that wind, that single windmill, by Wizard Strips, stood out 
Yeah, looking for that screen. Have you got Skydeam on your phone? Yep. You know what runway they're going to be using? I've got to, I mean, I can look up on here, but... Well, they're saying that the wind is 230. So... Coming into the mast and over the obstacle. Yep. That was me. Yeah, I think it might be. Just having a little play. Well, just, she was quite happy. She just had a little waggle of a tail. It's an interesting shot of in next week's video, um, which I presumably, if I'm editing this in order, will be last week's video. But you did that flyby underneath me and pulled up in front of me. All oh, right. And it just happened to be in two cameras, so it went through one, one and then up the other. Then followed by the radio call, which was, guess where I am, or something. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I've got a new tab on uh, my Sky Demon. Have you? Underneath airfields, I've got one which says radio. Oh, right. That's handy. And oh, yeah. It gives you all of the radio frequencies. And Oh, yeah, it gives you the nearest ones, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 And it's also, at the top of it, got the pressure setting for Watersham. I know. We have a little thing that we yeah. don't we soon won't need to get in here. We just switch the <laughs> sky demon yeah. on and say yeah. go to so and so and come back and we'll wait for it to come back. We can, yeah. We can, we can go in the clubhouse and have a nice cup of tea. And the other thing that I was surprised with, if I press plates, I don't just get Nayland and Old Buck. It also has thrown up Lavenham as well. Yeah, I think it throws them up as you fly by them now, yeah. doesn't it? I think they did that a couple of months ago, to be honest, but... OK, so that gives you the, the nearest airfield. Yeah. Right. Presumably you've got the same. I've got a ground speed of 160 knots. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in miles an hour, so it's... Yeah. A few little wisps, but nothing above us really, is it? There you go, yep. Yeah. that runway is not quite as long as it looks, is it? No. Because you have to go over that poxy haystack. There's, no? a, there's a lot this side, yeah. Old fucking up traffic, Old Juliet Bravo, and I'll be four, long final, two four. Two in hundred. And it's up way over the flap limit in speed. Five hundred feet per minute down, but according to my altimeter, I've only dropped two hundred. Has the haystack gone? Oh uh, yeah, looks like it has. 
Carl Buckner, traffic on Julia Bravo, short finals 2-4. Did you get a message about grass area? In Call Julia Bravo, back second. Uh, Julia Bravo, we have you in sight and we will wait here uh, for you to pass. Thank you. Right break. Break even. Ada. That was the top there for a minute. Wasn't he in the... Uh, Julia Bravo, your tyres are smoking. OK. Well, get out a bit sharp, let's have a look. No. What, 15 no. minutes? <laughs> well, I suppose you've got a little tiny short dump of coop screwdriver on the chart. Okay. Did that, uh, you've got a nice electric current flowing through all this fuel here. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, a good, that's a good plan. It's got all our
3,000 feet per minute climb, Lord. Yeah. Excellent.